Hey everybody, it's Joshua Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on everybody? And we got another Versus for you here. Uh, we're looking at the LG Optimus G Pro right here, which is the new powerhouse monster phone by LG. Coming in at a 5.5 inch screen, it really is trying to blow away the market of the five inch phones that we're likely going to see this year in 2013. However, speaking of the five inch phones, we have the Droid DNA right here, the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon. And uh, it is one of the first five inch, screen, uh, five inch display phones out there uh, right now. It's one of the first to come out and uh, it is a, quite a popular phone but we're expecting the Optimus G Pro to be just as if not more popular. As I said before it has a 5.5 inch screen at 1080p both have 1080p displays um, as you can see here I have the brightness a little bit lower on the on the DNA plus uh, DNA rather but you can see that the screen is still very crisp at 441 ppi while the 5.5 inch behemoth comes in at 400 ppi. Uh, as far as build quality goes you're going to see that the Optimus G Pro does have a little bit of more of a plasticky look. Um, it it has uh, it does have a quite a nice grip but it is all plastic there so it does have a little bit of a uh, slippery touch to it but still feels nice in the hand uh, which is different compared to the droid DNA which has more of a rubberized back a little bit but it does feel a little bit uh, a little bit safer in the hand in, in that respect but to each of their own after all this is a much bigger display much bigger phone form factor as a result so you have a nice meaty feel in the phone Battery life is a very important factor when it comes to these larger displays, and the Droid DNA was rather mixed in the results with its battery. Uh, with a 2020 milliamp hour battery inside and not removable, it did have a little bit of prob a few problems. However, the Optimus G Pro has a whopping 3140 milliamp hour battery inside that is removable, and it has expandable memory, which the Droid DNA does not have. So those are a few options that you have on this phone that make it a little bit more of an attractive package. After that, the camera is on the rear. Um, you have a 13 megapixel camera on the rear here on the Optimus G Pro and the 8 megapixel one on the Droid DNA while the front-facing cameras while um, largely standard you have a 2.1 over here that can be used in dual recording so the Optimus G Pro has a lot of new features a lot of things to bring to the table and we're looking forward to seeing how it's going to fare with the rest of the 5 inch phones even though it has a bit of a half inch advantage on all of them so like I said it's Joshua Vergara Android Authority we're here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona Spain and we're going to be bringing you all the best coverage because we are your source for all things Android